Why did you choose to study symbolic systems at Stanford University? Mm -hmm. And how have you applied this learning in your career? So symbolic systems at Stanford is, it's based on computer science. That's kind of where its root is. But it takes all these other disciplines and sort of tries to meld it together. It's a very Stanford sort of concept, <laughs> very West Coast, like fuzzy concept. But it's, um, so you take things like psychology or philosophy and um, linguistics. It's kind of the study of these systems. Artificial intelligence is a, is a great example. What does artificial intelligence mean um, philosophically? How does psychology play into building an artificial intelligence program? I think my interests are kind of broad, so yeah. I'm, I'm sort of technical focused, yeah. but then if you look at my bookshelf at home, I'm gonna have I'm going to have politics, I'm going to have history, I'm going to have philosophy on there. And that's what's really interesting yeah. to me is just there's a whole breadth of subjects in the world mm -hmm. and that's what I wanted to pursue. Yeah. And the fact that other people at Stanford told in the Stanford course directory that there was a, a program that allowed me to do that, that, was, that just kind of blew me away. And so I definitely jumped on that. In, in, in building a career predicated on technology, you know, how has that multidisciplinary education uh, helped you succeed? Well, in, after school, I, uh, I got a job in the insurance industry from a, a technical uh, sort of web-based um, position. And pretty soon, I wanted more flexibility. I wanted to sort of, I wanted to be the, the captain of my own career mm -hmm. and not be so dependent on what my, who my superiors are, that type of thing. What I found was that consulting role and building a consulting business was great to do that. Now, the problem is at that point is you, you step out from your day-to-day your -day role of just going to work nine to five, and then you come out to have to do a whole bunch of other things, you know, uh, customer relations, um, lead generation, uh, billing, just, uh, just all this stuff. And so having that interdisciplinary approach that thinking, um, having that, that background of being able to take skills from different sets, um, different, different areas of my brain, you know, I, I could use the creative, I could use the right side of my brain to say to a client, this is exactly why you need me, you know, this is to make that, to make that killer pitch. And it's my left side of the brain, you know, it was technology, so that's, that, that'd be the fulfillment. Mm -hmm.